Davenport police say the children stealing cars around the Quad Cities are organized and targeting easy pickings. In records obtained by TV6 Investigates, we've now learned a portion of these kids are organized into a gang and a third of juveniles arrested in Davenport have reoffended since January. TV6 investigator Mark Stevens starts our team coverage tonight. And Mark, the numbers of reoffenses are high across the area. Sharon, police are making arrests in these juvenile car thefts, and we're trying to find out more about what's happening to these kids as they enter the juvenile justice system. State laws prevent us from accessing much of that information. But what we have been able to gather, in Scott County, 69 children have been arrested on charges relating to stealing cars since last January. And of those, 21 kids were arrested again. Rock Island police are also dealing with a large number of reoffenders. In 2016, police officers arrested 31 kids. 19 had reoffended from January of this year through late April. 15 kids were arrested by police in Rock Island. 10 have reoffended. Now, Davenport police released this video of a juvenile car theft on April 30th. The owner of the white Kia in the gas station next to that SUV, it's unlocked and it's running. Two boys drive up in a second car, and within seconds, they jump in that white car and drive off. We've confirmed that one of these boys was arrested early Monday morning. We sat in his detention hearing in Scott County Juvenile Court. Our cameras are not allowed inside. The suspect is 13 years old. He had no parents or guardians at the hearing. He was wearing a blue juvenile detention center jumpsuit and was shackled. He kept his head down during most of the brief hearing. The court ruled to keep him locked up, finding there was a risk he would offend again if released. The court will review its decision next week. Davenport police point to this video as a sign these kids are growing bolder. My colleague James Stratton joins us to report on the connections the police are finding amongst these children. And hey Mark, that really is the second part of this story. These teens, some as young as 12, are not only stealing cars, but they're boasting about it online to their friends. And tonight we have learned the name of this group that they're in, and we found some of those social media posts. They pulled all of that out. Whitney Harris's van is still damaged after it was stolen in January from this gas station on 4th and Division. I run out after it, and I mean, I literally had my hand on the door handle, and they sped off. Hers is one of 206 stories just like this in Davenport since January 1st. We're averaging about three stolen vehicles per day. Davenport accounts for 77% of the stolen cars QC-wide, 206 of 268 stolen cars. Police say that most of those stealing cars are between the ages of 12 and 17. In an email written January 24th, just one day after six cars were stolen in a 24-hour span, Davenport Police Chief Paul Sikorsky says many of these kids are part of a gang called Savage Life. Those young gang members and others are bragging about lifting cars on Facebook. I think this is an example of uh, where social media plays a part in it, as well as the attitude towards um, what's kind of behind some of these is the fun aspect. We showed some of these posts to Davenport PD after some members were publicly tagging friends and sharing our stories bragging about it. Like this one, saying people are, quote, mad they can't do it, end quote. And regular posts from these kids say, quote, leave your expletive running, I'm taking it. Davenport police believe the teens will continue taking them as long as cars are left unlocked and or running. It does seem to be coordinated. That's that's the thing. It, it, it does seem to be calculated. This is what they're doing. They're actually going out looking for stolen vehicles or looking for cars to steal. And they say these thefts are becoming, quote, more prevalent and aggravated in nature. And they're worried what the next step could be, such as carjackings. We're worried this will escalate into other things. That is the fear. And police have told us that these kids are using these stolen cars to commit other crimes, even stealing other cars with them. In one instance, officers say a white Hyundai intentionally hit a motorcyclist in Davenport, and later teens used that car then to break into other cars, stealing things also from a house. In that home burglary, they took a TV, a wallet, two iPads, and attempted to actually steal the car right out of the garage, but hit a different parked car in that driveway. Sharon. Thank you, James. Police stress cars have been stolen at every time of the day and in every city. They say everyone in the QCA should be locking their car doors and taking their valuables out of the car.